to Mavara, which I'm, or Mavara. Bar Circuit. Yeah. I'm gonna be driving this JZX. JZX 110 Mark II. I'm not an expert on JZX. I've never even ridden in a 110, um, but I've always thought they're super cool. They're beasts. They're so big. I don't know what the. Do you know what the power is like on it? It's pretty stock, so you're in 300. That nah, that'll work. I think today's like today's gonna be a little different. They're like requiring long sleeves, which I guess is more normal. I've just been living reckless so far. And uh, hopefully we'll also get a ride in Andrew's car. Oh baby, we have arrived. So <laughs> this is kind of the running joke on the way because I don't know if you guys think it looks ridiculous, but uh, we both do. Like, look at the. <laughs> it do I don't know. It doesn't look like it should be up there. So we were kind of joking the whole way down. Like, what if it just fell off on the highway? <laughs> uh, what do we gotta do? Get signed up and yeah, another new track, another new car. It's exciting. This place is pretty rad. So we just obviously just rolled up and I haven't checked anything out yet. So, yo, look at this thing. Wow, look at the paint job on it. I think it's so cool that like people even put effort, whoa, lighting. It's cool that people even put effort into like the, like the trucks, you know? Of course, the vending machines, gotta have them. So today I guess is just like a, a grip and drift day, so there's sessions. Andrew is just saying like, yeah, this is like your first kind of real track day, and, and it is. Cause like, Emerson is kind of like its own its own thing, especially Mott City. The two times at Sunrise Circuit, we were, we were big balling, and it was private track. So this is like a very grassroots normal event, which is pretty sick. All righty, we're all signed up. We got, uh, I can't read this, so he highlighted it for me. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> So we got six sessions, first one's in like 25 minutes. So I'm honestly gonna jam out, get this car off the trailer, get it ready, and then uh, we'll see you in a minute. All right, let's get it.
All right, so I actually went out and did the first session. I literally had no time. Uh, I guess first impressions, obviously you guys didn't get to see it. Um, Again, it <laughs> won't drift third gear like really at all. I talk about handbrake use a lot, but it's like, if I'm just trying to go through these little corners and go slow, yeah, I'm not gonna use handbrake. But when I'm trying to like push it a little bit more, I like having it there. Sometimes you do need it to pitch it in, especially if you have it gripped up a little bit more. It's a necessary tool as you move on. It's just for people learning to drift where I'm like, don't use your handbrake, learn how to drift without it, and then as you know what it can do and what it's used for, then start mixing it in. So, you know, it is what it is. This thing's fun though, it's a freaking beast. It's massive, and there's an R34, just casual, but. <laughs> so we're gonna get back out there and make the GoPro set up and uh, have some fun. This thing's fun, it's like, it's looser now, but it's fun. I think this might be a little better grip level for it. Come on bro, go go. What are you doing? It just started like, uh, whoa, ISO, sorry Aaron. It got angry with me, I don't know. If I broke another car, I'm gonna lose it. I can't break another car. I didn't really didn't do anything this time though. I was taking it easy on her. I wasn't even going that hard. But it feels like, now I'm trying to make a YouTube video. It feels like, like an intercooler pipe fell off almost, cause it's like, just, it's not boosting, it's running real weird. I just, I don't know. I'm, I don't wanna break another car. I can't break another car. That was fun though, like I really, I got like a, I feel like a third was like working a little bit better and I got a pretty decent entry, I think on that one. Um, definitely a better flow through the infield, like no handbrake, really flowy through, it felt really good. We'll let Andrew come back in here and uh, see, see what he thinks, but. I, I didn't do nothing. I really try to take care of these cars. <laughs> I promise, <laughs> I swear to God. Side note, please subscribe and go buy some merch because if I have to fix all these cars, I'm going to go broke. Well, this thing is dead for now. We tried taking out the, like, disconnecting... The head. 
We tried disconnecting each injector. It didn't really change anything. It kind of kept running the same. Um, and then the coil packs are like, it's like a dual coil pack, essentially, which I've actually never seen before. So that was interesting, but we unplugged each pair. Um, didn't make a difference. It's something deeper than that. I don't really know what it is. The car was like overheating like crazy, even from the first run. So I don't know if it was already hurt kind of going in, but I'm just like, man, I'm like, I'm trying my best, honestly. I'm trying my best to like still put out decent driving for you guys, but also like not break these cars. And I am not having success with this. So thank God the S13 is about two weeks out, hopefully, so. All right, so we're gonna go over for a rip in Andrew's car. I've been wanting to ride in this thing. I got all the cameras set up on it. Let's go freaking have some fun. That was good shit. Man, we're having a hell of a time today, so. I, I can't ride along anymore, so we're gonna film some drifting, I guess. <laughs> Got the cars back on the trailer. Probably done borrowing people's cars. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, leave me some feedback below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Appreciate all of you. I love all of you, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.